Hey, what's up everyone? So I want to do just a real quick video and I want to go over this game called Epic. Um, it's a really cool game. You can get off of Steam right now. It's on sale for just $1. And if, when it's not on sale, it's only $2. Now, the thing I really want to go over about this is it's one of the games that you will need to use auto hotkey for. And this is something I was just really made made aware of. But you can use the auto hotkey it natively inside LaunchBox. Now, I know I've talked about doing that before, but I always have been doing it just through the edit emulator portion, but not the actual hotkey program itself. I've always seen that it was in there, but I really never knew how to activate it until now. And I just wanted to briefly go over that. Now, I will have a more full in-depth video about this, so I'm just kind of... Glossing over this, just to show you what it can do, um, you don't need to download any extra auto hotkey programs. You can actually just use the one inside LaunchBox. So I'll show you what I've done with Epic, because you will need to do this for Epic to play. And really any game that you do need to remap controls for, for your gun. So you would just go down to Edit, Edit Metadata. And you would see additional apps right here. And I've already done this. I've created the um, mapping right here. So I just renamed it Ripper Control Mapping. And this is the actual hotkey, which you'll find it in the third party auto hotkey. And right there is the actual program itself. So I just want to show that to you. And this is the auto hotkey that I made. So I'm, I made a scripts folder where I want to put all my auto hotkeys at. Now I'll show you what I did. Now this I just copied and pasted from the send in wiki. So you can just go to send in wiki, type in epic, and you'll find this exact script. Um, you'll actually have to create the script itself, but you can copy and paste it to a text. And uh, it'll be there. <clears throat> so we go to our root. There's a scripts folder I created, and this is epic. Now you'll need to uh, open with the notebook, and then this is how you would edit. So I just copied and pasted this, and I'll briefly go over what all this means. So um, actually, this part right here you don't need, so I'm just going to delete that because this is already going to run with a launch box whenever this opens. So I don't want that to interfere with that. But what I do want to bring up is this right here. So right button, these means your mouse buttons. So the right mouse is going to be the R, the R on your keyboard. And that's going to be your reload. The middle mouse is going to equal Q, which will be the missiles. Uh, space equals E is going to be the counter. Um, F is going to be your booster, which will be at number one. And then, of course, your left, right, up, down. Of course, you'll have your guide movement left, right, up, down. Now, what's cool about this is using this method, especially the remapping functions, and also using the uh, native uh, auto hotkey within launch box, as it could just unlock so much more potential of what you can do and play games that normally wouldn't be playable. But how you would save it, you would just go to your file, you would save as. And you need to save it as an auto hotkey, so you need to add dot ahk, and you will need to change this to all files. If you don't, it's just going to save it as epic dot ahk, but it's still going to be a text file and not an auto hotkey. And then whenever you do that, just want to bring this up and you'll see it's a auto hockey script. And let's do some quick gameplay on this. Like I said, I was briefly going over this. I will have a more full, in depth, detailed video about this. And if you want Epic, you can go back and watch my BlameCon video and I show how you can put this on LaunchBox and have it installed. You just use the same method, but I will show that again when I go full, in depth on this video. Let's get some gameplay in, and I will uh, show you how all this works. Gotta bring our border up. I'm sure we can just use a reshade, and I will do that in the full video.
Okay, so anyways, that's epic. Um, you'll be able to do all the uh, other weaponries and stuff as the game goes on. I'm sure that's just the tutorial section. But anyways, I just wanted to bring that up and make y'all aware of that. So anyways, I hope y'all have a great day, and I'll catch you next time.